I did my trusty Forex search this morning looking for Forex material on the uh, YouTubes. And this guy pops up. And uh, I love the British accent and that he's young. So, um, you know, this is a fresh face of Forex here, f fresh voice. But he's going to use some of the ICT terminology that I think triggered me into a psychosis myself is the order block. Unst order blocks. And so he's going to say this is how he sees the order blocks and the equilibrium points. Now, I've, I'm up to like, um, I backed up a little bit here. But anywhere you start here, it's like a fractal. Anywhere you start here, there's no mention of a trade, buy, sell. The word buy, sell does not come up for this guy. It's all about order flow and, and order blocks. But he's going to take you through multiple time frames. He starts off on a goddamn four-day chart. So I'm not – here, let me just uh, do sample um, scrolls. This is a four-day chart. Now, it takes four days to make a candle. Holy shit. So he talks about this whole thing, and I'm thinking – yeah, look at this small body now. Having a trade plan for this is going to be the thing. Now, he says the market's really not doing anything. Meanwhile, it's smashing up and down 80 pips. You can't see it on here because he has no pip crew. There's no reference for what that would really cost you, and there's nothing. He's he's just not into talking about that. So then he takes you to the – I I swear to God to you, this is like the uh, – here we are at the uh, – daily chart or we missed the two-day chart let me that's the two-day chart <laughs> that's a three-day chart now it, when you go into and he's marking that off as an order block just to save you the, uh, the the secret sauce here that that to him is the order block -ness. and this is his uh he, he's he's all oh, this is my he says that's his order block there not this body thing and what I'm focusing on is even if you took the most um, goober-esque entry on here and you put a, when you see a small bar, all the breakout strategy there, the strategy has been, um, is, is being asked to be implemented there. Uh, small bars, buy stop, sell stop, whichever way the wind blows. Um, buy stop, sell stop, whichever way the wind blows. Now, I can't say you can make a living doing that, but you can see that, that's not only a confirmation on entry, but it's better than putting a, even though this trade works, I got you, but a buy stop here and a sell stop there, you could get trapped and whipsawed, right? So this multiple time frame idea is what is the, tra how, what would the trade be on that? And like I said in the previous video, and the other one I just did was, uh, fortunately, I had something running in the background. So um, kind of funny because I didn't do monitoring while it's recording. And so I play it, I go to um, post it. And YouTube says copyright, and I'm like, copyright? Who stole my shit already and sold it? So in the background, I got a fucking uh, Fleetwood Mac playing or something. As I'm talking over it, the robot was only able to pick up one song, apparently. But um, the trade plans, and this is for the, uh, mind you, the three-day chart. Now, I used to do what this guy's doing, and I thought, well, if you want to go multiple time frame, let's go fucking every, like, let's start trimming five minutes off every bar of the candlestick and um there is no reference here of to how much you would risk now if you risk ten dollars a trade with 100 pip stop on a 1k and you're really going to do that trade then you know what's going to happen when they come within um well if you have a, a 20 pip stop oh they're about to hit my stop now i'm sure that um if you're giving the market that much room the next question would be, well, why couldn't you have the skill or the mindset to trade into this possible? Like, if you don't know where it's going, that's the idea of a hedge. You don't have to know where the market's going to make money. So that's the Mark Douglas um, quote that kind of very disturbing to first hear that. Because I feel like, are you serious? You don't have to know where your car is going to get to the store? Well, it's, the market's just not like that. You're really not got this these targets and everything this guy's going to talk about is just it's just harebrained talking points it's just spitting out fucking gibberish of order blocks blah 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 with no reference to anything practical in the real world so he's kind of a young product of the you know the the uh i saw this guy that post modern some guy come on and commented and i see people comment and i go to read their comment and it's gone like there's no i can only read it on the pro unless i deleted it but uh, so anyways, this guy is taking you through this um, multiple time frame 
and dare I say, smart money concepts. Now, obviously, he's an ICT uh, disciple, or he's picked up the um, variant, you know, the Delta variant of ICT, and it's infected his head a little bit, right? And so that's a trigger for me because, yeah, I know it's like the guy, the guitar sounder, right? He's play, keeps saying, dude, you smoke on the water. I got it. You know, you got another tune? Like, you're playing fucking Freebird? I got it. You know, Stairway to Freebird. I got Now, that's at least, you know, at least we're starting to bifurcate and get into something more complex. But mo most people that come to trading are trying to make money. They're, they're like, hey, you know, uh, geez, man, that moving average thing. God damn, when that thing queues up, just the right amount. Even the cloud traders are going to have to say, tell you, dude, when when the fucking 56 ha Hakamashis meet the fucking tank and she's in the fucking jacuzzis it's like fuck dude yes this fucking setup now we've all seen these glorious uh explosive moves and i don't know what this guy's waiting for a 500 pit move he never he's like well that's really not worth trying <laughs> yeah you can write all that shit off yeah that girl dude that's the only girl left right i know she's like got one eyeball and three legs but that's all got left here um let me go so let me go to his uh I'll scroll through his time frames, and then when you, when you get to hear him talk, he rips out the Fibonacci's and talks about, look, it nailed it right there. And this is the same kind of fantasy bullshit. Now, you, what you're saying is that, yeah, I mean, it's been proven. If I put random lines in the chart, look how it touched that right there. Yeah, Did you have a big fucking order sitting there? Did you sit there and babysit till that wick tip got nicked and you fucking pulled the trigger? Uh-uh. So you, that, that trade... You know, you could tell me all day long about all these wonderful trades, but to step in there, to get in there, you're either, um, you know, the sidelines waiting to get in. And I, and I got you there, but you can't be awake 24 hours. You can't actually tell me you trust. And he's already going to tell you in here that it's like, yeah, well, you know, could could happen, might happen. Well, okay, so you're going to spend all that fucking effort on shit that could and might happen. Well, why don't you just canvas the fucking market? like I'm doing with a bunch of limit orders. You didn't think of that? I mean, who didn't think of what I'm doing? I don't know. But I, I guess I did. And I thought, you know what? If I can canvas the market and say, I don't know who the fuck's going to want this shit, but if I'm 10 pips apart for eight hours in a fucking market that's going to probably fucking make new fucking lows, I mean, this is so fucking obvious, but this guy... No tech, no no fucking technique, no execution, no way to fucking get the trade on. I mean, you know, it's and you could do what I just said here. You could put goober shit on and make money, but you got to put the trade on. You know, you got you got to be able to say, um, okay, if you're relying on Fibonacci's and Takanashi's, then you really are gonna be waiting on the sidelines. So I'm saying for the people that trade like me which is every day's an opportunity every hour's an opportunity i don't have this oh well it's got to be just i don't really care you know i mean now it does matter if i'm trading something that's um trading really quietly so to speak and i've got to have trade plans that fit the current volatility so my approach is if the market's dropping 300 pips every five minutes and I don't have a 1,000 pip stop to get into a light position to justify this fucking giant pattern, what the fuck am I doing? So if I come into Asia and it's very quiet, the spreads tighten up, I see an obvious pop, I see an obvious trap. I'm talking about an 18 pip trap. This motherfucker's sitting here with 180 pips on this guy. What the fuck? Anyways, but so let's let's get into his. <laughs> so it's like, what what are you talking about? You know, it's like, well, uh, these are these are smart money concepts, and these are order blocks. He's gonna do the order block thing. It's just so adorable. Well, uh, so I'll start him a normal speed, then I'm gonna speed him up. Okay, I'm gonna speed him up until he becomes a little bit. Maybe the the robot sensors will keep me out of. Um, dry dock and the punishment um with with it put the thumb screws on the forex thumb screws yeah that actually you could have like i said the, the way to make money in forex i think is to have comedy forex you know so you have actually like a i don't know like a the trades going against you a forex um a squeeze ball that looks like um a nice young breast i don't know and so yeah, but so that these are just I'm just throwing it out there. You can take that idea and run with it. But if it, if it backfires, you get sued. Don't call me. 
So we'll start him out. Now he's he's on this uh, order block. Thing. He's already into it, and uh, I don't know if he's charging for his mentorships. I don't know if this guy's just putting it out here for free. But here we go. But below uh, the low here to validate this order block, and we see the market sort of distribute higher. I think he meant distribute, but he's not distribute. He doesn't really follow through on his uh, sil syllables. Nothing's changed. We can also see here nothing's really changed here. Nothing's really changed here. Now, I, I just wanted to say to uh, this guy, dude, I, I think some people just blew their fucking account up. This is a one day. I mean, it's a daily chart. I mean, we're talking about a 100 pip range here. You can't see it according to his uh, charting. But I do like that he fixed the scale. Now he fixed the scale. He stretched it out. So let me let me point out the part I like. Very clean candles. We can see the dojis, three dojis in a row. And if that ain't a fucking signal, nothing fucking is to any goddamn trend trader. That's a drift up. That's three goddamn um, Pindic soldiers. That is that is the entry, dude. Um, also, what I could say there is that he's missing the bigger picture here. I know that he wants to go to this multiple time frame, but let me just see if he... And but Wait, let me just back up one notch while it still looks uh, nice and rich here. So t take a look at this and um, get, get a lot of this uh, situation. I'm going to use a rectangle for this. If we just look at the bodies, and we know that on line charts, this would be a double bottom. No? And uh, I'm going to give it a window, though. So I'm going to give it a nice fit. And I'm going to go, I'm going to take this, to me, the order block, <laughs> with him, order blocks, anything you want it to be. I'm going to see the order wick. Uh, this way, if I see order wick, people, oh, that's everything between the wick and the body. This is the order wick. And it may be an order block or order cock, depending on your persuasion. Just take this forward in time and make multiple, because I trade in multiple tickets, I'm thinking, well, there's got to be a big clusterfuck of support there. Now, there's a lot of people, um, and I'm, I'm going to make my wick the bottom of the box. Now, it never makes it back there, but look at the reach, right? So what's really going on there is I'm going to call this a dead cat bounce. No offense. No offense to a dead dog, but we, we the nine live theory. And so... Also, I think you know by watching my videos that my, if I had a robot that could look at the daily chart, actually, do we really have to need that? This is a two-day chart, by the way. We're on the wait. We're on the two-day chart. So he's got the, he goes through these time frames like he's got this set up in some trader's way or so. This is a, what is this a trading view or something? Everybody, people probably know what's going on there. I don't. Uh, so here we come back to this. Then this is the. Um, the inflection point. This is where the top becomes the bottom, so to speak. It doesn't quite happen, see? Now, if you have a big sell, but what I was just going to say is my, my system for getting in here is going to be like this. Um, if I see this situation heavy down, and this could be a Friday, it looks like this is something. I don't know what date that is. Um, but if this is, say, whatever does it but the thing is you're under the floor so the obvious scalp is to get in here now you'd say well if you buy here and you put a stop here they're going to stop you out but since i don't trade like that i put in multiple tickets i'm i'm long with limits beneath me so i go long and whatever size um i can afford but i'm sure that actually in the real world i would have started buying here so I'm, I'm long, 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 because I'm that guy. I'm, I'm going to buy into this plunge. But don't try it at home. So that's another thing. It, I'm going to buy, I'm going to Martin Gellin. So if I buy, I'm going to buy more, buy more, buy more. And then at the end of the day, I'm going to be long so much on that. So if I know that this is going to be, uh, and actually there's a wick back here. We can't zoom out on his chart, fortunately. But so we're here. I'm going to put a sloppy line in there. And then if every rally, if, if I think this is a downtrend, and I'm going to say that for um, the crudest of situations, and we know that, you know, if he, he just had a moving average on there, we, we just can say that we are expecting some retracement here. We can either trade this move 
or we could start sell 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 with a tight stop now you would say well I get stopped out yeah now if you look at the subtle thing is is that it wicked up and this to me is the order vacuum I don't know if you want to call it order block but just look at the wick so if you just sell everything above the bodies you would have picked up all these premium prices and as soon as it takes out this wick and this wick now the buyers come in heavily uh, below here and I have my limits placed here in front actually I'm probably long from here and I'm not the only one because they got out here see they got out there and I can see all those trades in there and which one do I want to take now if I take the um, confirmation entries it's gonna look like this and like I said you can do this trade I probably wouldn't because hopefully I'm already short into it especially on this uh, two-day chart he's running but this entry here if I'm gonna say I just run a trip I, I mean it's going down so I could actually put a sell stop here and get trapped and if I repeat that move um, I only lose that one trade and I sell stop here sell stop sell stop get filled I've got a protection here now this is why you want to bracket a small bar because uh, it starts to delta out here starts to it starts to come into a triangle and if you start to run that sell stop I'm so buy stop sell stop no fill here trapped on the top this is why you got to come back with the same trade plan over and over but once you get filled and you start if you get if you go short here and you start to run your trailing stop here you got to kind of like take some money off the table because they're gonna you're only gonna make this much money see when they come into new lows you got to be getting the fuck out of that so a lot of people make the mistake of well I'll just let it I'll just let my profits run now this is the ultimate entry from anybody that does it. this is the lowest risk if you're gonna get whipsawed it's gonna be a very low loss but the the amount of money you're gonna make and here you're anticipating more beat downs right this is my favorite trade is you've got a buy limit here this is a Williams fractal you got a buy limit here you get picked up and you get ripped and you get picked up again and ripped that is to me my favorite trade just like this you got you, you got buy limits here below the bodies and they just keep picking you up here premium entry very tight vacuum block and you can call this shit all you want but it's about getting these orders in here tight and that you got all fucking you got two goddamn days a two day chart this guy's just missing that he's missing the boat man he's gonna whip out the fibonacci's and all that bullshit all that fucking completely ridiculous marxist trading shit modernist shit uh you know is harebrained fucking retards you know but you know bl bless him to death you know he's young dumb and full of, you know nothing's changed we can also see here nothing's really changed here. nothing's really changed it just blew up my car yeah um but what we can see here uh yeah on the daily time frame oh so now they go to the daily now now here's where to me this is there's more trades and less risk the smaller the time frame as you go and the more you place your orders on the wickety wicks this is when you really start to say i got i got it i see what's going on now look at this of uh, and i'm just going to say this to me is the mini um two-day vacuum like right here when this market pops it takes out this high if you have a sell limit here um you can be a seller on every one of these so you got, you got a sell limit here you're filled a sell limit above this now this to me is the nice scalp this is like a, I mean, it could be a 12 hour scalp this could be a 20 hour scalp but if you have a sell limit right on this wick tip and these seem like very crude trades but they really do work um i think he's marked off this is that a or is it anyways you got sell limits here but you start selling here on a wick and then you can cash out to the floor and beyond you don't get an engulf there but you get a deep pullback into here and once again i put the same trade on here sell limits here again and to me this is the better one because um you're making this all the way to here and if you held and now you start to see them cave into this vacuum like in other words this if you're already short before this cave in you could just hold that and say okay when it gets to here I'm gonna cash out and buy and I think at least this if not this was the big big winner you scalp to the floor 
on the wick and let it ride. It kind of engulfs a little bit, takes out the high preview. But once again, a nice shallow pocket to put tight. You're going to run tight and wide. Once again, I'm already long. You can see I'm long. I, I, I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy that new low. I'm simply going to buy new lows and sell new highs. Now, how many pips away is that and how much money's in your account? Blah, blah, blah. That's the only other part of the recipe. Like, are you going to bake a cake? Now, it's true. When you start to bake shit really big, there becomes problems with how you're going to heat the core of that, right? So that's why cakes are so, certain sizes and the oven goes to 350. Now, you have to time and temperature. you got to sit there and bake it longer, right? A bigger cake, longer to bake. Um... But there's so many buys and sells on here from a mechanical standpoint or from a structure standpoint, trade, supply and demand, Sam Seidel, who, who blew up his account because he couldn't place the orders. He's too fucking lazy. You know, these things work, but you got to put the tickets in and you got to endure the whatever it is. And you, if you can't see the big picture, this went down. Look at these. Look at this pounding. Bam, bam. I'm sure on the four hours, we on the four hour, we could have put trailing limits on the wicks and just got picked up and just taken into this giant collapse you know you don't have to be trading 31k with your finger in the trigger looking at a dumb shit 15 minute chart with fibonacci's and thinking that you're you got some fucking edge I, to me it's no edge the edge is to psychologically handle the punishment of being in any kind of risky situation right and that's why people are afraid of risk, and that's why people wear masks and stuff. To this day, I see fucking goobers out wearing masks. I'm like, dude, you're just, you're going to make yourself sick. You're a fucking retard. You're just a fucking retard. I'm so sorry to tell you. Uh, but I'm not going to tell you because I see people doing all sorts of shit wearing spandex. Like, honey, you're like, you're pushing five bills. You know, you're at Walmart with the spandex. You, you fucking, now that's fucking causing brain damage to most guys. We can't have this. We can't have this. No. Now, well, any guys, any guy that has any testosterone, testosterone, you're not supposed, to, not supposed to have that. But you know, in case you, in case some snuck into your brain, next thing you know, you're hunting for the next place to uh, breed. Okay, let's go back to this uh, British fellow here. We can see this candle is definitely of interest because it was quite. It's of interest to me. Oh, it's very. Uh, now this is just these are harebrained things he's saying. That's of interest. What the fuck is that? We can have a conversation about socialism later. Quite a large volume candle. Um, I swear you got this before. Uh, you do like to see, you know, larger volumed order blocks, like bigger bodied candled order blocks. I'll bet you do, buddy. I didn't know you're that kind of guy, but I bet you do like to see some nice big order blocks on her. What is this guy, Benny fucking Hill? Um, we can just uh, assume that potentially could have been more, uh, more order. Is he going to say order block? I this is a drinking game, dude. Order block drinking game. This place within this area. Okay, so it might be of a more of an invested interest um, for larger smart money entities um, to be a distribution price from or... A entities. <laughs> yes, this is the Borg. The, the distributing price from up here. <sighs> this guy's got to be like 22 years old. Around this area. Okay, so we're going to be highlighting this order block. Like so. Okay. Like so. Now, what the fuck is that for? What the fuck does it have to do with the price of tea in fucking Tibet? Why, why the fuck is this guy torturing us? When is he going to put this goddamn trade on? I haven't heard the word buy and sell yet. And I'm just going to change the color just to make it easier for us to be able to see clearly. So this day, the order block was validated when this low was breached. It was validated when this low was breached. But, well, dude, let's get, let's, can we trade this shit already? Okay, which we can see here, and we can see we're starting to distribute higher. Now, for start to distribute higher. As you can see, the market has moved down. And, well, that's it. Now, and then my next, my next module, course number 5896A.3. All this order block, I'm going to simply draw out the equilibrium point as well. Okay, I've spoke about this in previous videos. <laughs> Thank God I haven't seen those. Now he's got the classic Fibonacci. Now this this is I've I've, I've got a little I'm cheating because I saw a head on this. I, I watch ahead of the he's gonna say how I just nailed it. He's gonna do the ICT. See how it nailed it right Although I didn't have it order now, nailed it right on the morning. Um.
So I like to use the whole of the order block range. Okay. So he likes to use the whole of it. I go have Suze on that myself. To find the equilibrium point, so we can see it's right here. We can see we actually tapped it within this can. It tapped it just like my girlfriend. So we're going to go on to lower time frames and see exactly what happened here. Okay. I had a baby in a second. So let me just put here equilibrium. Now, there's no specific rule set of the reason why we should use equilibrium or not. <laughs> No, there's no specific. He hasn't even talked. That there's no specific rule set. Well, then what the fuck's the point? I got a rule set. I might get stopped out, but at least I got a rule set. I got the crudest fucking rule set you could come up with. This motherfucker got to be getting out the equilibrium and the Fibonacci and some quaaludes. What what next, buddy? Certainly, uh, I I just like to use it as a sort of gauge. Um, sort of a gauge, oh, like a twenty EMA. It's kind of something I use. Kind of. Just, kind of assess what the goobas are doing if we see like a body close on this fractal okay meaning this specific <laughs> this fractal i like to throw out words that kind of like you know just these are talking points specific time frame fractal above the equilibrium point of this order block i disregard it okay above my equilibrium order block i disregard it see i disregard it so in fact i don't really trade i just analyze the markets here. i'd be looking for maybe the markets coming to higher prices so you're looking for it i mean this looking and oh maybe if and i really don't have any rules for this i, I wow is this guy charging for this shit uh, it's not a 100 rule set you know because well, mine is son of a bitch. And son of a bitch, he gave me the $3 billion to trade with. Could just close above this slightly and then completely fall to the downside. But it's a nice um, rule set to go into with your trading plan, okay? <laughs> okay. So that's that visual representation here. Okay. Visual representations is what we've been experiencing this whole time with this guy. So now uh, let's just go to the 10 hour time frame. See what 10 hour time frame. Now, holy fuck me with a wet spoon. Now, here is my scalp world and i can see all the trades popping into my fucking head here also we can also um do the 10 hour dude 12 hours maybe but 10 i mean 12 hours you can get two bars a day a 10 hour time frame let me see if i can be of assistance here so i can see that if i had a robot or i had a uh well, look at this. If you've got the time to look at this every 10 hours, if we put a um, breakout strategy on this baby candle, like a robot would just go, oh, let's get in that. Now, he did get he did get uh, trapped, I guess you could say. Uh, but if he took something off the table on the breakout in this direction, right? But that's why I prefer the limit entry. Uh, and I, I can see my trade already here is if I see a, a small bar like that, I know they're breakout traders that are going to make, or there's going to be, um, you know, there's some resol or resolve to this in the small body, right? So hard up into here, you could sell. That is a 10 hour sell and it drifts back, right? In 20 hours, it drifts back. So here we can count the, 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 the time times ticking here. So we, um, if I, if I I'm buying new lows for me, right? I buy, 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 and it rips back. And how do I know it rips back? Because see that wick? That means that the market went like this, and it did engulf. It did not follow through and go like, you know, all the way to here, which everybody would probably be dreaming of, that was in a really big position, which they never got out of. I mean, this each person has their own experience of hell, I'm sure. But let's try to imagine the... Uh, um, let's let's look at this as a 10 pip uh mini vac and i would have my orders in here actually i'd be buying this whole thing now when it comes to here if i if i cash out my next entry to go long is going to be buy limit buy limit and as they fill that and if i have most of my tickets here and here comes the news and this i i can claim a top bottom here this top becomes a bottom um the people that got in um anywhere below this when it dips back into this okay so when it dips back into the equilibrium um i'm getting in now on limits i hope 
and very well done. And then I know there's sellers galore up here, right? So as soon as we get up here, I could actually, if I'm not long and I don't mind a little bit of pain, which apparently I'm just a, a masochist, I, I come to find, but um, sell limit, sell limit, sell limit, and we cash out. Now run the same strategy. Sell limit, new highs, selling new highs, sell, sell, sell. I'm selling a grid of pendings. I don't know how far it's going to go. My first scalp is to here. We wick it. We fill the limits. We come back and actually, lo and, lo and fucking behold, I, I'm, okay, selling in this vacuum, right? Sell, sell, sell. I could say, well, um, I had a, I had that bad ratio on this one. I had a big ass stop on that one, a big ass stop on that one. That got stopped out. But if I held through it, and I don't know if I would, because I made more of my more money up here, and I might get stopped out. But you can see how you can make the argument. Oh, look at I held it and see it. That was a winner eventually. Yes, eventually it was after whatever how many how many pips this is. I don't know. So these are theoretical things without the actual dollar amount, but. I can see my um, entries. I can see my entries right here and my exits and to the long side, I can also see. So if I did not sell up here to take this entry to cash out just to there and let the rest ride um, all the way back to here. So what do we know about this trade is that we could have sold here and the market actually closed a little bit up after wicking down. And I don't know which happened first because I could have had a buy limit here just the same on the 10 hour. So when you see the market wick down like this, and typically when this is happening, you know, this is a big, it's quiet too. Don't forget that uh, this is quiet. We're expecting an explosion. We do. We get an explosion, but we could have just as well put sell limits in here and just traded the wick. So in 10 hours, I can make money in 10 hours by just putting buy limits here. The market wicks into it, comes back, and I've, ca I've cashed out. Uh, same thing here. Buy limits. The market wicks in. And I could just, like I said, I'm martingaling in here. And my biggest tickets here, I don't know if it fills, but I think that is the juiciest ticket. Right? Like if you really want to talk about magic, smart money. I'll give you the smart money right here. This is, I think everybody can see it by now, but I mean, a lot of people aren't going to trade that like this because they're waiting for the indicators to catch up. And I got you. This is a Williams fractal. I guarantee you this is a, and that just means that it's a turning point on a five bar pattern. So this is one, two, three, four, five. I think as long as this is below that. And we see that the, 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 then when they nick that wick, it's just a premium uh, situation. Oh, I get to pick the width of my, didn't know that. I can make this a, a brutal magic marker. Um, They just nick that wick and then rip this way to this floor. The, the uh, most recent floor is here. It never really kind of makes it there. But this is the big contention point so that's my trade that's my whole system in a nutshell because if i put sell limits even here now this takes some balls but i'm saying let's sell this fucker to this floor now instead of selling and this is the premium right this is the bottom becomes the top on a wick if i just i can sell that too also but we may not make it there we don't always make it to those amazing uh, prices. Um, like if I had a sell limit here, no fill. It, it comes up, but it's just such a shallow rally, and it's just about which. what's the next price pulse going to be? And here I'm already, uh, I, I could have scalped off the top of that, and I'd be up a few pips right now. But once again, here I would, I'm going to come in and, and just and stream buy limits, right? And, and the longer they last, the deeper they are. And this guy says nothing's going on yeah, in his head. Poor thing. 
this is a, a huge, prominent, big deal low. You could, you know, you know, when they breach that, there's going to be hell to pay, and there was. It actually engulfs. It comes back to the floor. I'm just saying the floor is the. In case anybody wants to know what my uh, buzzwords are, my terminology, but I know I know what my trade plan is for that situation. I don't need no Fibonacci's. This is also a big deal. This is the uh, Williams fractal because it's a um, turning point in five bars from two bars back and two bars forward. You sell that. Sure, you want sell limits here to capture that insane thing, but they never fill. To settle for what you got plus you're up you know your market orders you pull the trigger here plus you're selling this so not only is it this slot here that's feeding off of it's that when it hits that and then 10 hours up 10 hours straight down now isn't that the trade you want not this bullshit fibonacci oh well it's gonna wait and to listen to this guy you just blow your brains out but let's listen to him so we can blow our brains out. I mean, this is just, you got to, just, uh, well, Fauci, you got to get over it, right? Get over this Fibonacci uh, issue you got. Just take the fucking, take the take the uh, magic juice here. Take take the Kool-Aid. I mean, Jim Jones is here to help. Don't you, don't you believe in the people's temple? What the fuck's wrong with you? What we can see. And we can actually see here, we actually have an untested order block right in this area. So we can see when the market distributed lower, we can see we came into this area. So even before price had played out, you know, this would be the sort of area you'd have of interest. Okay, is this order block right here. Um, I'm actually just going to, I'll just highlight the area. Okay, so we can see a little bit clearer. So this order block here, um, let's just make... He's wrong. I mean, this this is so stupid. I mean, yeah, there's order blocks all over the fucking place, dude. I can mark off, what about this one you missed? What order block here? It's just harebrained shit. Every bar is an order block to this guy. So... I'm saying, how about the wick block? You know, the the big, the fucking, well, you sell up there, man. And um, if he has sell limits with hit, I'm assuming he would sell anything in that window, but he just, it just breached a little bit of that. It's about how aggressive you are, I suppose. And he's not scaling in and out. I never, like, I haven't heard him use the word buy and sell yet. Like, here's where you get in and you got 10 hours to get the fuck out of here and make yourself a can't load up pips and 10 look at these 10 hour sell-offs a simple breakout strategy here is this guy he just he never thought about it put a your order block bullshit put a sell stop here in your order block buy stop you just fucking got involved in this big giant sell-off you could cleaned up look how they just nicked the now he's zoomed in look at that just nicks the wick and you just make x here and then another dippity dude this is probably my favorite trade in the world you get in here and they rip it here and you could take either side of that But he's not a trader. He's a, he's an order block analyst. There's a difference. Okay, like an orange, whatever. Okay, so we've got like a more of a of an intraday uh, area. Now I got to speed him up because I'm bored with him already. I'm ready to take a fucking nap with this. Shit. So here we're gonna go to um, one and a half. He's relatively fast speaker. Yeah of interest and we could potentially say that if we're looking for the market dispute lower because of the four day time frame seeing that that, that low being breached we expect the market to come back in before distributing lower we could then say that potentially this could be the range that we're trading within okay and we'll see when we go into lower time frames whether the market actually presented uh, more of these ideas this whether it actually presented so these are all if thens and uh, look at this look at this he's got the he's got the um so i know he's an ict disciple he's got some 70s some ict retracements of 78 percent better than the 61.8 that everybody else uses potentially be the range that we're trading within okay meaning that this here would be an area premium to trade into a discount area so I hope you can see within this video how using all time frames is going to be really beneficial for you to be able to determine how you're going to get into a market effectively okay um okay. so let's just go on to the eight hour time frame so we can actually see we have a nice order block in this area as well uh, so i'm actually just going to uh, refine this to this whole area here now the reason for that is because you don't want to get too refined on your areas of interest okay because the market doesn't have to reach uh, this order you don't want to get too refined you know you want to be a slob like simpleton block okay just put a fucking order block shit in there just let it go let it rip son just see what happens put the fucking tickets in there that simpleton got their fucking posted up there just throw that shit and see what happens like i say the main focus like i say like you say is actually the overall range itself okay is understanding what are we trading in a, a premium or discounted range and what's the likelihood of a premium discounted range i prefer the premium thank you uh discounted shit don't taste as good 
one range being respected over the other, okay? And obviously, in this example... Okay, I'll see what you're saying so far, but keep going. We're looking for the market to come into a premium range um, premium. before the distribution. So, the point is... Distribution. Um, this is more of a larger visual representation of the overall uh, sentiment premium range where we could be expecting market... Premium order block range distribution of the Fibonacci's, fractally speaking. Come into. So, I prefer to use the whole area, okay? I prefer to use the whole area, my two. I like it. You know, I like her toes, too. Okay, that she's got that one hammer toe, but the rest of her is hot. Now, I'm not going to draw out the equilibrium point of this area, um, but even if I did, you can see if we just do from home. Even if you did, hell, even if I did, I'd be like, okay, you know what? She's she's still alive. I ain't a necrophiliac. Right to low. See, we tapped it to perfection. Okay, and we tapped it to perfection. When you tap it to perfection, it's an ICT move. That's just how it is. Water blocks. This area, right here. Now, I'm not going to draw out, but right I... Here. Oh, sorry. Oh. She likes it right here. Sorry. I just wanted to show you uh, the accuracy of the equilibrium point of a specific range. Yeah, the, his equilibrium point is fucking amazing. Well, what about the other equilibrium points, right? What about this one down here? Look at this cute little fucking dragonfly here. Anybody catch this one? Hmm. I know you candlestick traders are like, dude, look at this fucking hammer to gamble. Look at this fucking baby fuck. You could have a, a one-hour breakout bot, and he could have just taken something off the table there but look at how now this is the classic when you when you do this trade this is the beauty you got your buy limits in here in a fucking one hour they wick to the floor and you're like i'm out here another uh cell cell window here's the vacuum forming now we just crushed into this one so you know you know i'm long here got long here scalped out and then Every hour, smart money kind of ships with my British bloke. Now, let's go back to his his analysis. Range order block. It just seems that order block. When the market comes into these premium or discounted areas, uh, these extreme areas, um, it just seems to be respected. Maybe there is an algorithm. Uh, it seems to be respected. Maybe there's an algorithm behind the scenes running everything. You know, like the hidden hand. Rule set in play, we don't know for certain, okay? But it, like I say, we don't know for certain, but let's just speculate. Um, you got to have a rule set, and that's what's the most important aspect, okay? Hmm. I think I just went long on those new lows. Okay. So, like I say, this is the uh, eight hour visual representation of the premium range. So now we start to get uh, an overall consensus of where the market could be distributing to, okay? From a higher time frame to a lower time frame. Overall consensus. I used to have this magazine I subscribed to, and I, I, I refused to unsubscribe. It was actually came in the mail it's called consensus it's for commodity traders and it was on uh, that special kind of yellow really thin paper it's like 20 bucks a month for this thing and i thought if i'm not if i don't keep on on this fucking commitment of trader shit i'll just never be a trader i'll just never be a millionaire trading come out i just won't happen i gotta get consensus magazine it was like having barons when we were kids you know you'd read barons magazine they still make that um big fucking giant uh like porn, traders porn, big giant things. I don't know. And uh, you know the um, my my uh, brother in law at the time was, oh, you just put an option spread on butterflies and just you know there's a tech, you know, oh you know kind of complicated. But see the Black Scholes model was what kept me away from that. I thought, well, mm, is that racist? The Black Scholes model, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Now, when it comes to the four-hour time frame, we can actually see we're sort of like platforming liquidity here, okay? Now, what I mean by that is we can see we've had the market distribute higher and then aggressively distribute lower. Now, many retail traders would have seen this low, okay? And they'd be expecting maybe this range to be respected, okay? What I mean by that? Is so, th this is the other big fallacy. Many retail traders would see this and did they? What the fuck are you talking about? Now, he's like a racist. Well, you see what the white people are thinking here is, dude, I'm fucking some hot black girl. Shut the fuck up. Um, so, you know, this is the other one. You know, I want to see what the goobers are getting trapped. Yeah, there's, I'm sure there's people trading breakouts getting trapped on this one hour chart, you know. Um, so the, I'm sorry, the four hour chart. So he's in the four hour chart. And yeah, I'm seeing my trades on the four hour chart. And he's just talking hocus pocus. Is we can see we've made a new low compared to this low here okay so many people would be seeing potentially that this whole area here could be the range that would be being respected not taking into consideration the four day three day two day time frame okay but see they're not taking into consideration what i took into consideration and they're just not making the conceptual money the smart money that i'm making it's just, it's just fucking bullshit dude 
How in the fuck? Now, I, I got to look at the comments on this. It's probably like, well, man, thanks for really opening my eye. I guess, right? So for some people, but you got to even fucking fade this go goober. And this is so harebrained. This is what ICT has turned out. All of these order block dumb shits, you know? Well, I mean, everybody's at a certain point of learning. I, I suppose I'm a dumb shit when it comes to my uh, organizational skills. <laughs> I don't have any. Which is why I say it's really important from a daily range perspective to take these timeframes into consideration because, like I've already outlined in this video, um, price action is fractal. And like I've said, price action is fractal. Yes. Oh, that's on my tombstone. <laughs> that's what he said. Famous last words. He just blew up the account. All these uh, concepts and ideas happen on all time frames. So it is very, very important, especially if you're a daily range or weekly range trader, to be using these time frames in your analysis to be able to uh, just find an overall consensus of where you feel like markets could distribute and the, the likelihood of the market distributing okay so like i say with that being said most okay. retail trade we've seen is a break of structure I'm potentially be so seeing uh, like i say this more as a retracement period okay something like this okay from high to low no it's like i say not like you say he's got that fucking expecting maybe uh, he's got the ict fibonacci uh, it's better than robinacci this order block here to be respected if you're a smart money trader or whatever which is why i don't like to focus too much on the order block itself but rather the range okay the order block just helps outline that overall range, okay? Well, thank you for that. So we can expect that this here could be a platform of liquidity, okay? Uh, essentially, above I've this... learned a lot sitting here listening to him talk about the market. Hey, honey, come over here and check this guy out. I think he knows what he's talking... He's talking that order block shit again. And the ICT guy, he... He talked that order block shit too. Area, okay, would be people's stop losses. Okay, so if you're trying to sell uh, the market up buy stops above this area to protect their sell orders. So, uh, smart Gotta protect them sell orders. So, the smart money, see what's going on here is a stop point. So, I think you've identified this, the, the, uh, the retail flush, I think they call that. We'd be looking to distribute into this area, okay, which would make it the largest pool of liquidity before its distribution phase, okay? So, it's at its Ooh. best interest to be able to grab these orders before it decides to distribute. And before it decides to distribute. It's order imbalance is all it is. What happened to this uh, equilibrium? Hey, equilibrium there. Equilibrium. Is that like is that like that uh, critical equilibrium theories? This may this is gonna become a lot more clear when we go into lower time frames. So we're just going to the two hour time frame and we can actually see we have a Ooh, two hour time frame. Now we're talking. Very, very clear equal highs. Okay. From this area here to this area here. It does define the vacuum better. So now I can see my two hour trade. So this is revealing actually. I shouldn't even be criticizing this guy. He's giving me a whole new lease on life here to really give me more confidence in my trading is that I got sell limits above here, tagged, bagged. I got sell limits above here, tagged, bagged. I got sell limits above here, tagged, bagged. Two hours, I could have got out. Then the buying begins, right? Then the buying begins. And look at this beautiful buy, drift. Um, and then we see a new... When we get these baby candles, the breakout traders get in. We got sell limits up here and buy limits below. And bing, bang, bong. Look at these Look at these beautiful trades. We get filled on the sell side. We get filled on the long side. And the market doesn't go anywhere, but we made money. It's beautiful. Love it. Uh, you know, obvious, you, you're going to buy here. You, 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 see, you see this new low? You buy that. You sell the new highs. You buy the new lows. There's more trades on the two-hour chart. Um here no fill here right it fills here and in two hours you made x that is has to here sell new highs cash out sell new highs two hour cash out boom also because it's really down in two hours if i had a two hour bot he would buy only the big slam downs he would buy this slam down maybe this one and he's making money this one he loses this one he makes money um but I'm looking at this. These holes to me are just pure gold. Uh, buy limits trailing. Plenty of money to be made during this whole thing. When he says nothing's going on, uh, buy limits pending on that. Tag and bag. Two hours cash to the floor. Boom, you're out. <laughs> Why is this guy working so hard? He doesn't understand order flow. Order fill is what he needs to understand. You know, this order flow, these are the most, um, uh, there's there's a million terms you can use for this stuff. And what's, what's really happening, um, regardless to what uh, the retail guys think that, you know, they're, or, the, or the institutions. No, it's just, it's just, the, it's an open market. There is no, um, it's over the counter trading. So there's no regulation on how far the market can move. 
And it can move really big and establish giant structures. It can actually build by, by just moving into voids. And then it can consolidate for 80% of the time. So 80% of the time, it's really doing nothing. The screaming moves here. And that's kind of the, the trap mentally is that you think, wow, it's just going to keep going. Um, like the, that trade's going to be like the last one as far as how long it took me to get stopped out or make money. Let's go back to his uh, insight. This is a clear double top area. And we can actually also see uh, a head and shoulders formation right here. Now, oh, Jesus, really? Wow. So now that just goes to show you people see stuff. I didn't really see head and shoulders. I got away from head and shoulders. In fact, I would just get it on the head and the shoulder. Um, I like triple tops. Head and shoulders kind of gives you this. It's too much information. But if she has a nice head and shoulders, I mean, I'm not going to kick her out of bed, you know, think about for eating Forex. Think about this from a retail perspective and think about it from a smart money perspective. It so losing retail traders lose and smart money traders make money. This is the argument for this. Uh, beating up on retail traders if there is an intention for the market to distribute price okay on a higher time frame which we've already outlined on the four day time frame two day and daily etc okay then etc if we see the market sentiment start uh putting in these retail formations then we can assume that this is actually just accumulation of orders so when market when the market does distribute into these orders like into these into this area okay of orders then this would be like, like i say the most optimal place for smart money to sell at if the intention of the market was to distribute lower which we've already came to that consensus on the higher time frame so i hope this is starting to make sense how using all time frames is super super important when you're deciding the framework of how to get into a trade and it's so so vital especially did you catch that it's super super important it's not just important and it's not just super important it's super super important importante if you just like i say if you're a day trader this information is oh, i'm a day trader oh, i'm listening i'm listening is pure vital because you could be getting tricks on thinking that this here was an order block of interest and because you've seen the market come into this area and start distributing lower then and you'd be wrong your order block analysis sucks a giant one you could you could assume that you know many smart money trades could be wanting to take this into into lower prices because they haven't taken in those higher time frame uh, perspective ways to look at the market okay now when so I, I gotta outthink the retail guys what are they thinking can i go against see this is when you come into problems because the retail breakout traders making money um from dumb and that's a retail thing is confirmation entry right so there's a guy that has pending sell stops here pending buy stops he's like well hell i don't know what to tell you i got a 20 ema says i'm in a down trend i got it here and i'm making money so what the fuck's with this order block guy shut the fuck up you're just you're you're, you're crushing my zen man you're just you're ruining my life you know with this fucking order block shit i feel like i'm missing out i do um outline time theory as well onto this it's going to make a lot of question marks um you say time fairy that go on in a lot of your heads and, and gets a lot clearer on why the market does what it does okay i clear myself up with some fucking high acting coffee so if we just put on um the time frames now okay now, holy shit now brace yourself people we're going down the cycle highway if you've not if you're not used to my channel this is essentially the london session and this is the new york session okay so the okay yeah, yeah. reason why i like to have it that's kind of nice i like that i can do that mine doesn't look quite like that i don't know he's using that because well, he's inside a trader's uh He's he's in that what do you call it? Sorry, uh, meetups or something. I don't know what the fuck it's called. As, as an indicator, I think it's just a nice visual representation of how the market are, uh, like I say, how the sessions are. If you do want this uh, on your own charts, I'll make sure to put the link uh, in my um, description where I show you how to set this up so you can have this as well on your trading view, right? Charts, right? Or is this Ninja? Wait, I don't know. Is this a ninja chart? So if we understand uh, the power three, okay? Now, ICT speaks about this in many of his videos. So I Oh, I knew it was coming. I would highly recommend to go over to his YouTube channel, okay? It will really help you understand time theory, okay? And why my- Time theory. I thought said time fairies. Mm. All right. Well, I mean, this may is not fun as I thought it'd be. Markets distribute at specific time periods, okay? So if we look- Yeah, at it's, the, it's a called an auction, dude. It's the session. I mean, it's the fucking rollover between- It's an exchange, don't forget. Yes, they're exchanging money around the planet as different markets open. Time, time fairies. If we're expecting, let's say, a downside candle, if we're expecting a larger expansion, okay? Large expansion. This is kind of wide. She doesn't even know I'm in. We'd be expecting the market, okay, to be distributing higher um, in the manipulation phase of this uh, daily. Manipulation phase. Mm. I use my digits for that. Range, okay, so. Digital manipulation. It's not really rape. This here would be the manipulation phase of the day range. I'm going to go over that in more detail. But if you actually have a look at this candle, soft rape stick here, okay, when we see the market distribute higher, okay, early on within the day, 
okay, which could be in the Asia session or London session, okay, then we can assume... Don't you want to ride that move, though? Doesn't this guy want to find a way to actually get in on the market? But if we've got the framework, okay, to, to the overall higher time frame, that this here would be the manipulation phase of the overall day range, and we're expecting a larger distribution through London and New York session, okay? So I hope that's making sense. And Oh, it sure is. Especially when you see the market take out old highs like this, okay? And, you know, I could just visually just show you like this. Well, um, that's the entry. You just you just discovered my system. You buy new lows and sell new sell old highs and buy new lows. This would be like those old highs areas. We can assume when the market distributing above those highs at a specific time period, which in this would be the London session, this is the highly manipulative phase because if you're, when you're taught um, from a retail perspective, okay, how to trade markets, uh, let me just get rid of these. Um, when you're taught from a retail perspective how to trade markets, you're taught, okay, to trade the breakouts, okay? So when the market like breaks out of old highs like this, you're... He's, so this is where people go wrong on the breakout. And I knew, he, I knew this, is, this is like the big contention. Do you trade breakouts or limit orders? So, or do you trade confirmation? So if you put a buy stop here, a sell stop here, and, and maybe you have a, a wider stop, right? But you're looking to make this. And maybe you do know that the market pops up here, but you don't like to really do that trade. You want confirmation. So you have buy stops here, buy stops. You get filled and boom, you made money. Now putting a buy stop here and the high of the daily, of course, of course, dumb shit. But here, look at buy stop, sell stop, only filled long. There are retail traders putting buy stops and sell stops here and making that fucking money. This is what pisses me off about this shit. There's retail traders that say, we're going to fucking go lower. How can I get in the, on that train? I'll put a sell stop here and a buy stop here and I'll cancel and replace. And finally, actually, I get filled and look at this. I'm making fucking money all the way to here, mind you. Right now, if you have a buy stop and a sell stop here, I don't know if they trapped you a little bit before they pop back up, but you can see that trade. So what he's really talking about is the, the Steve Morrow moneymaker thing and what, what ICT is saying, oh, well, Steve Morrow doesn't know shit. I knew this stuff, limit order entry. Well, I took it one step further. I actually have expirations on mine, and I can cover a whole, canvas a whole area, and I can do a precise entry, but we don't always see the fucking precise reversal at the end of the session, right? So when you... The fact that the market popped here, I don't, I don't really care what session that was. And you can see that this session pop here is in the gray zone where this session pop here is in the, which is a subtle one, where you make new lows. This doesn't happen in the gray zone. It happened in what I, and this is another fallacy is to really focus on this because now you have another filter to prevent you from trading. Oh, well, it didn't pop. I want my... But see, it, it crushed into here and it made that. It crushed into here and it made that. And it and it tippy topped. It did a fake trap breakout in the one hour here into, actually, there's a real subtle kind of thing here, and then it smashes down. So the fact that this this U.S. market's open, I think here, big down. Now, if you buy into the close, this is Asia here. You're doing this dead cap bounce and. Or you got more buy limits here and you're really looking for it to eventually make it back here because maybe you drew a trend line or whatever. And you're like, this thing just got hammered. If you know how to trade this situation where it smashes down. And if you look left, I think there is, it's probably nicking some wick down here, but comes back up. That's the trade. That's how you're making money. Now, the guy that puts on the, the buy stop, sell stop in here because of the time frame he's on, he's making money too. And it's because his targets aren't ridiculous. He puts up a sell stop and a buy stop. He gets filled. He's in. He does the same trade here. Now, he gets whipsawed here. And when it takes out the new low, and this is a better example of a retail trader getting, tr he's right in the long run, but he tries to put a buy stop in here. He doesn't realize that if it ever wicks down here and there's, there's um, three hours you could still keep buying. Every time it, I've done a video like that live where every time it wicked down, I do a rinse and repeat and I keep buying here for that move, right? If every time it, it's below here, I keep buying for this move here. And you could, you could sell here for that, but it's not a lot of pips, but you know, 
that's why it may be a winning trade, but it's not enough pips, and you didn't buy a big enough position to make it worth your while to actually make money on that trade. And that's that's the cruel uh, reality of it is that it's 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 pip it's pip specific. And it matters, you know, pips do matter and how big these trades are matter. You're taught to wait for retests and continuations and many retail traders would also be looking to take longs from this area expecting continuation because they're seeing this overall uh, premise of the market, all this area, and they're seeing this like high, 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 low, high. No, you're seeing that. You're seeing that because I can make the same argument. Yeah, you, you can, I can make the same argument here, dude. The people are expecting, how is that any different than this? You know, people are expecting, dude, this is going to fucking go like this. I mean, look, it's going back up. You know, this is the end. Um, this got to keep going up. It's the end. Anywhere in this chart, people are thinking that. Like this. Came down here. Look, it's going to go up. So, these are just, this is ridiculous. But the, you got to realize that because you see it, not everybody has a Fibonacci and that the market has no respect for any fucking prices other than the structures. Um, and the way that it, that it pokes in and out of that, these are really fast. You Like you couldn't pull the trigger on some of these trades because the news comes out, the market wicks down. And unless you had a basket of tickets uh, waiting to be filled there, an order block of your order blocks you know that kind of order block your orders in the block <laughs> it's just it's ridiculous this is a, this he's a student of ict it's another another um maybe he's a millionaire i don't know my eyes high lows on the from, from trading this he just doesn't revolve he's like ict won't tell us the secret sauce lower time frames as the overall trend of the market when really in reality they're actually it's just an accumulative phase okay on the four day time frame okay um, so I hope that's making sense if I just get rid of uh, this for a second. It's just the accumulative phase. I know this is like, uh, let me just uh, see if I can uh, hide some of this. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. So like I say, on the lower time frames, people seeing high highs and high lows, but really all we've seen is we've seen a break and a re we've seen a breakout, okay, um, of the market. We've got a, obviously in a larger distribution lower, okay, and this is sort of a retest of that order block, okay. Um, so I hope that's making sense. So if we just go on to the two hour time frame, okay, we actually show you what's going on from a time theory perspective. If we're expecting uh, the market to distribute higher in London, okay, and we see that actually happen, then we can expect that all the orders are being taken from this area and this becomes the most optimal place to trade, okay? Right here becomes the most optimal place to take a trade because of everything that I've already outlined in this video, okay? Reading that overall order flow sentiment is so, so vital to be able to understand how to get into this trade effectively, okay? Um, and I hope this is so he cherry picks this one fucking trade. I mean, dude, you know, this is just, this is just retarded shit. Um, I hope you can see, dude, I can see all that shit up here. Now, for, now I'm speaking in fractals of the pattern exists in a smaller amount of pips. Why didn't he point out this premium place to sell, this premium place to sell, all these premium places to sell where they trap the breakout traders? Why is this the... This is the only one because it's the most dramatic one he could find. These are all the same trade. Sell limits here. Sell limits in the mini vac. Sell limits in the trap of breakout traders thinking you're in a triangle. Which way is it going to break? Okay, yeah, you can put sell stops in here and get a default confirmation entry. Or you're selling the clever money. Yeah, I got you. Same thing here. How is this trade any different than this? And why would you wait all that fucking time? And how is this buying new lows, selling new highs, sell new highs, um, sell new highs for that move, sell new highs for that move? I mean, I'm going to make this money, this money, and that money. I'm also going to be buying here and here and here because I can make that. And you're going to do the same trade here. I'm surprised he didn't say, well, you get in here just as well that you're gonna but he's just he's a he's a um 80 percent of the market's doing that occasionally it makes a run then it becomes this it becomes noise can you trade the noise but i don't know <sighs> ict tur turn this guy out he's the he's an ict student this is making sense because we could even go into a lower time frame and see how we could have actually possibly got into this trade now Go to the go to the one minute chart and show us the order block, please. 
like I say, that this video is meant is just about uh, from higher time frame to lower time frame. Um, so I hope you guys get a lot of value from that. But I'm going to show you a simple way of being able to get into the trade, and it's completely up to you. And this is why I say to you, it's not just about smart money concepts. It's not about retail ways to look at the market. It's how you see markets. But as long as you've got a framework correctly of how uh, to read order flow, then you get to choose how to trade. Okay, so if we just draw out like a simple trend line, okay? You get to decide what sort of trade you are. Are you the sort of person who wants to wait for a breakout? Maybe not do it on the one hour time frame. Um, let's say that you waited for, and let's see what we can see. Let's say you want a 15 minute time. I was actually going to do a trade. Frame, okay, you see this trend line. Okay, you could wait for the market to break out aggressively in London session like this. Okay, and place an order here. We stop loss above the high. Okay, and looking to grab a little bit of that. Of that. Now that, wow. Now I'm even more triggered. So, dude, we're on the 15 now. Now here I would babysit and make money. I'd hit my finger on the fucking trigger and say, uh, just before, if I was going to scalp and hold the trade for like an hour, I see my trade here and I do that trade too. If I'm awake and I see this is resistance, um, I can't, I don't know where Asia's at. This is supposed to be Asia here. It's the rollover. Okay, so here, when it pulls back, I'm like, yeah, let's buy that thing or i've got my tickets up here my cells start here and i'm like oh they just filled me i can either cash out here and the fact that he's waiting he, you know you put your trend line in here and trade like a if you want to trade like a goober kind of retail guy what about this trend line what about this trend line <laughs> wow what about the trend here? So the trend line to me is identifying this void. It's kind of cordoned off that. You can wait for here to get in. Yeah, so you can get in here and put your stop here and risk more money just to make this little move. That's a break-even trade if you put your sell stop here. And you got you what? Do you, how big is that trade going to be? Five standard lots. I'm a little, uh, you know. And not to mention that it breaks that trend line. And now you're going to get in here. <laughs> Come on. Oh my God, he drops to the 15 and starts calling out the trades. Well, with that, with that, uh, with a nice tight spread, you know, here's the same setup, right? Got traders got their buy stop here. Gonna get trapped, oh, get trapped and raped. What a heartbreaker. Here's my buy, buy limit, scalp to here, buy limit, scalp to there. Here's a nice one, buy limits here, scalp to here. We're long right now. We're already cashing out of something, I guarantee you. And look how fast that money was. Now, I don't know if the spread got wide there. It could have got really brutally wide if that was news. News out of, uh, it's supposed to be the European session here. I don't know. Well, that's U.S. session. So this is news. That's like um, jobs report shit. I think, I think this here is supposed to be. I'm not sure, but see, it doesn't matter because I'm going to look at the breakouts and the fake outs. And so one man's breakouts, another man's fake out is an easy way to put it other than all this uh, gibberish about retail distribution phase. Okay. Um, which is a, a completely fine if that's the way you'd like to trade. Now, if you understand the framework and you're really, really, um, confident on the overall range that you're trading within then this would be the most optimal place to trade um let's just say you've got in on a 30 minute time frame. Okay. As soon as you saw this sort of slowdown right here. Okay. You could simply just be a seller right in this area. Okay. Short trade right here. Okay. These are all could, would have, shoulds. Yeah, you could easily be a seller. Like I said, if you just lay the rack in, dude, and accept the fact that there, you know that there is um, supply or demand above this thing, you sound like a motherfucker into that. Sell, you Martin Gale in, you got tickets to sell all the way to fucking Memphis if need be. It comes ripping back and you go, oh, that's how that trade works. And this happened all day long. This trade's happening. I like this zoom in view here. Selling above that, we're gonna make it to here. We're gonna make that money at least. Um, here I got sell limits here. I make that money. See how that works? I got sell limits at the extremes. I mean, buy limits at the extremes and sell limits at the extremes. Yeah, when this punches up here, you know that's happening, right? Um, now you're either long here on the pullback, so if you just buy pullback it's over it's oversold anticipating this move then at what point do you start selling because it becomes really a nice trade if you started selling above hip here because if you ride it all the way back even this one becomes a winner so i'm trying to envision what the if you can imagine a limit grid laid out there that's all you have to do is imagine what it would be like 
and you can trade it with real money or you can do it on the strategy tester and try to imagine you, that you're getting filled on these limits. You can just be either, it depends how aggressive you are, you can put your stop loss above the high. Maybe you could take a stop out if it does decide to come up higher, okay, and then enter it again, whatever, but because it's a fair Whatever. See, that's the key. Whatever. It's up to you. I've showed you the magics of ICT and order blocks. It's up to you now. Time frame, we're seeing some decent slowdown. You can place it here or uh, understanding the average. So it's always up to you. What can you psychologically handle? Daily range. Uh, maybe put 10 pips above the high. Okay, so maybe 10, maybe 8, maybe 9, maybe 100. Um, so if this would be like this, 15 pips. Like this 15 pips, maybe. And, but like, I'm going to go above and beyond that because I'm going to take 20, 40K off the table just on the wick tip and then the rest of it. Okay, if we go through the next price pulse, we start to actually engulf and go after. So this is a true auction here. And if if he knew about auction theory, he'd be, he'd be babbling about that. I'm sure this window here to this window here, right? This is a full engulfment of this whole thing. You take out this and you do the hokey pokey right and you come all the way down here and you and you uh, annihilate this area so you take this area out and this area out bing bong it's over um and there's it's it's the time not to i wouldn't sit in that trade even though according to him you're going to jump on the train here um golly okay uh hell you could just sell every up bar sell into that at the market every half hour and I probably would do that too. So when I when I get into these trades, I got sell limits here, and every half hour it's up. I'm like sell the market, sell. That's what I'm doing. I'm selling into that. If I really think that oh, like this, half hour up, sell, sell, sell at the market, sell limits getting filled. So I'm getting filled at the market. If I'm there, and I'm never gonna do this breakout strategy because, like, I'm probably gonna think in terms of what's getting here in something before we break out of that range and there are some fake starts but that's why you need the seven and eight and nine and eleven pip targets for me i have to have i got to take something off the table on the initial burst right now this is more work but it it reduces my risk and i make money if i'm waiting for that big home run and i've got everything loaded and i got a million dollar position in the demo and i'm waiting for that home run it's always a disappointment. I'm just going to tell you straight out. It's a disappointment. Now, sometimes it pays out, but too many times there's going to be a reconciling at 930 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, before the U.S. markets open. There'll be another big, uh, we might actually drift into that price area and from London to this session, that session, but it's about how tight is your stop? How many trades do you do? Can you babysit these markets? Can you can you handle ICT? This would be like a mediumly conservative way to enter the market. Or a mediumly conservative way to enter the market. Well, that's kind of what I like, buddy. I don't like to be like a fucking samurai. If you really are risk adverse, then you can just place it above. I'm risk adverse. I don't even trade. The range high. It's completely up to you. I'm just giving you three different options to be able to get into the trade effectively. Okay. And then it's giving us options to get into the trade effectively. Now, when he zoomed out like that, I just see something new. But maybe I already saw this is that. I keep seeing this going, dude, how is this any different than that? How is this any different? Than that? You should have done all these trades. Bang, bang, bang. If you're risk averse, here's a pro tip. Risk averse, don't trade. See, people do riskier things at trading. Trust. Trust and believe. And you could be riding this market down in this larger distribution phase, okay? So... I hope this video has been really, really insightful for you guys to be able to, how to break down a, a market from all time frames, okay? <sighs> wow. Well, let's see what we got here. What kind of helping hand do we have here? Let me let me just take a look at the commentaries. I got I, 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 I am too curious. I can't take it. Luke Ellis FX. He's almost got the same amount of uh, prescribers that I do. Multiple time frame smart money concepts. In this video, he's only got one thumb down. Hope you like and enjoy. Comment. Best smart money. I like the dumb money myself. Instagram. Oh, ICT. Yeah, go figure. Wow. Thank you. Once again for the content, brother. How do you put those sessions? How do you put those sessions, bro? Can you make just a small video showing us 
it will help i think you say how do you trade those sessions right yeah me too it helped me a lot he loves every comment i, I i'm sorry i can't love every i tried that once i thought i'm tired my hands i'd rather save my clicks for trading that's why i don't like and subscribe i've got a ton of nights from fucking trading one case buddy thank you luke this is really educative is that a word thank you thank you my kind bro for taking your time to share your knowledge with us another great video however my slight ocd demands i ask this oh my tourette's demands i cuss through the whole video um why not save a ray with an equilibrium uh, label instead of having two type in every time frame laugh out loud not a big deal see this is just amazing let's nitpick the the stupidity um great video a suggestion for a sunny night video setup follow on how to set up whether you got the trade win or lost thanks so people are starting to already say um by the way um are these any winning trades you've done lately? Show us how that went. Love the content. Hi, Luke. Thanks for the video. Could you please let me know which trading view package you use that facilitates the... I think you could set those. You could pick those time frames. I think you can do it custom. I think I was in there once. Luke, how is the daily bullish candle in order block, if you don't mind me asking... <laughs> How is that daily? Wow. I mean, these are just harebrained. I, I, I just don't know how people do it. Why do you use the first up or down candle for your order block? <laughs> Thought order blocks are the last up and down candle. Dude, the order block mystery is still, I'm still befuddled. I call them vacuum cocks instead of order blocks. This is where you're able to do that inhale singing that the metal guys do. Oh, that's that. Okay, so. All right, so that was interesting. Anyways, I couldn't resist. You know how it is. Um, we see an order block. We see, we see uh, the stuff, and we just can't resist. Multiple time frames. Luke. Yes. So high CT has has given birth to this uh, student here. A lot of views. He gets more views than you. That's why you criticize him. Yeah, I know. He's hooked up with high CT. He's in the club. He's he's part of the inner circle. See, see how that works. And you're in the outer square. You just don't measure it up. That's a order block mania. Order block multiple time frame order blocks. That's what we call this. <laughs> 